All right, it's all about supporting local businesses on the Valley Isle. From arts and crafts to Ono Grinds, the Made in Maui County Festival is happening this weekend. Joining us this morning with a preview is Pamela Tunpat, president of the Maui Chamber of Commerce. Good morning, Pamela. How are you doing this morning? I am excellent. Aloha, Ross. Thank you so much for having us on again this year. Our pleasure. Now, first off, what can you tell us about this year's festival, which actually kicks off tomorrow? It does. Friday. Friday is the exclusive shopping day because our crowds on Saturday are about 10,000 people. So for those who want to shop leisurely from 1.30 to 6 p.m., be a part of the opening day ceremonies, get to see the booth contest winners, and just have a great time networking and have fun in, in a more relaxed environment, you can buy tickets at Maui Art, uh, MauiArts.org. That's at the Mac. Um, and they're $50 per person. And Pamela, you talk about day one. What about day two? What are some of the big events happening on Saturday? So Saturday is our big festival day, and this is the day that we usually attract 10,000 people. We're so thrilled to be back live at the MAC. And people start lining up at 6.30 in the morning because the first 2,000 in the door get a free festival totes. But spoiler alert, we're going to have a few extra because our supplier accidentally sent us more than we expected. So we're going to have a few extra totes for folks, but we have a lot of great vendor demonstrations, amazing entertainment. We have Kathy Collins, we have George Kahumoku, Ahumanu, Jordan Soon, Marty Dredd all playing for us. Great food trucks, fabulous food, and a lot of fun. And it'll, it'll be a day where you can find everything on your shop list. That's right. And speaking of shopping, this is a great way to do your early holiday shopping. Tell us a little bit about the products that you have in front of you. I, I'm, I'm eyeing the nitro. Is that nitro cold brew? Yes, it is. So it is. The nitro is here. I'm going to have one right after the show. This is by Vitality. It is. These are kombucha drinks. This is Pearl, their new Maui persimmon Fuji apple cinnamon and they call it Pearl. So they've got some exotic flavors that they're doing here. We also have Poli Poli Farms. They do amazing chewy bananas, as well as Mamaki tea, which they're very well known for. We have Rainbow Ridge, which does handcrafted goat soaps. And I'll pull this up so you can see the cute little foot scrubber at the bottom, the rock looking foot scrubber. They do uh, amazing soaps. Then we have a new jeweler this year, and it's Kialena jewelry, and I think you can see some jewelry down below, but there's some beautiful necklaces here, and she makes amazing things. This is a new vendor this year. Uh, we also have uh, Simply Royal Designs. They're back. They make custom metal art. This is Maui Love, of course. And then we have Fam Hawaii. Fam Hawaii is a family brand. And they do grateful and blessed messages. So this T-shirt says blessed. They're going to do a fashion show for us. We also have watercolors by Kalen, this beautiful piece of wood art with his watercolor painting on here. And we have Cookies Maui. They do amazing recycled children's clothing out of used T-shirts. So here's one little dress that you can see. So adorable with Hawaiian print on the back. And then, of course, they've got some cute shorts that are in the front. So we have lots of amazing things to do and see. Uh, as always, you've got returning vendors that everybody loves. And you'll find not only do they have all of your favorites, but they've come out with new products as well. And a lot of new vendors from the pandemic. New companies starting up that are taking their hobby to a business. And Pamela, the important thing to remember is this is all local vendors, correct? This is all local vendors. So these are companies in Maui County. Um, they have to be headquartered in Maui County, so Maui, Molokai, and Lanai. And uh, we have about 140 vendors and food trucks coming to the show this year. And they must meet a 51% valuation. These are products truly made by local hands and hearts in Hawaii, meaning 51% was added in Hawaii. And as we help these companies grow and succeed, which we do through inviting wholesale buyers and distributors to the show as well, we see these niche manufacturing companies grow, creating local jobs and support local economy. Yep. 
all about supporting local. Of course, it's happening this weekend. For more information, just go to our website at kh12.com. We'll have the link, and it's perfect way to get your early Christmas shopping done, or whether it's omiyage for people on the mainland. It's the perfect place to get it all, one-stop shop, as well as just having a good time. So thank you, Pamela. We are blessed to have you on this morning with a preview. You have a wonderful day. Thank you, Ross. I'm blessed to be on as well. You have a beautiful day, too. Aloha.